All right, the 1986 FBI Miami shootout. This is a test I've wanted to do for a long time to test this particular ammunition. And what we're talking about is our Winchester Silver Tip 115 grain. And the gun that the uh, agents had for that 9mm cartridge was a 4 inch barrel and it was a Smith & Wesson 459. This is a four inch barrel Ruger Security 9 as a stand-in, so I think this will work just fine for testing this. Now, back in the day, I guess that the silver tip was jacketed in some sort of aluminum. I don't know if it's aluminum powder or if it's actually aluminum, but from my opinion, looking at a lot of these the photographs and close-up photographs, it looks like pretty much the same ammunition that they used um, back then, currently, other than maybe it's a little bit different material. So I think overall, this will probably do a pretty good representation. And then the other load that was used that day was used out of two, three, and four inch barrel revolvers. Um, but I think most of the hits were made, or all of them made out of a four inch barrel. And what they were using was a lead semi wad cutter hollow point in a plus P variant. Now this is Buffalo bore standard pressure. And why I'm using this is it's almost identical to our rated velocity. I think this is like, I don't know, something like 979, something like that, or maybe it's 958. I, I can't remember the velocity, but the, the 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 loads that you see on some of the one-shot stop statistics that law enforcement used, I mean, it was like 20, within 20 feet per second difference of this versus the old like Federal or Winchester or whatever it was, plus P round. So that is going to be pretty much an exact representation. And some of the agents had four inch barrel 686s just like this. I think there was a model 19 four inch and then a model 36 two inch. And I have this two inch Taurus 605 that will represent that as well. And that got me wondering, okay, our current, our current ammunition that is used by the FBI is this out of a four inch barrel, our critical duty, nine millimeter plus P. 135 grain, that is the FBI load currently. So this used to be the FBI load. Some FBI agents used this in the 80s, and this is the FBI load. And these are the correct barrel lengths to test it from. So I really wanna get a good idea of what's going on with this ammunition. So what I'm gonna do for a ballistic test is I am gonna go through the chronograph, try to verify these numbers, see what we get. But I also wanna do a really realistic um, ballistic test. And by that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put our baloney pack right in front of this ballistics gel. And I did some preliminary tests where I found that, you know, a baloney pack with the one quarter inch medium density fiber board represents roughly uh, seven inches of 10% clear ballistics. So we'll add seven inches to whatever we get in this and we can kind of see our penetration. So it'll be a really interesting to test to see, you know, the handgun rounds that were actually used in that shootout, you know, how will they do? And, and another interesting fact most people don't think about is that the 38 Special is actually the cartridge, you know, that particular cartridge was the one that stopped the fight ultimately. And I think it was shot through windshields even. So let's get started with this test and see how we do. All right, we're about five yards from the target, four yards from the chronograph. Uh, this is rated, I believe, at 12, 10 feet per second out of a four inch barrel from five yards. So let's see how close we get to 12, 10 with this Winchester Silver Tip ammo. 12, 28. 12, 12. 12, 34. 12, 06. 1223, so not too bad at all. Now I want to compare that to the critical duty and see how the current 9mm FBI load compares to this. All right, next we have our critical duty 9mm. By the way, this was donated by Dan, one of my patrons, so thank you very much for that. Um, we're right at 1115 feet per second at the muzzle. Let's see how close we get to 1115 out of this 4 inch pistol here. No read. 1032, 1051, no read. no read, let me run a few more rounds and we'll keep going with this, no read, 1087, no read, so it doesn't want to pick up this ammo for some reason, uh, let's move on to the 38 Special and see how that does. All right, 38 Special in the 4-inch barrel. I'm not sure it's rated velocity. Buffalo bore kind of is confusing sometimes with how they rate it. But we'll see how close we get to, you know, the high 900s. That's about what it would be out of a 4-inch barrel. 1002. 1046. 
1033. No read. No read. 1034, I'll take that. Uh, and let's move on to our two inch and see how that compares. All right, two inch barrel, let's see what we get. No read. 892. That's not right, 101. 932. No read. Let me try some new more rounds. All right, let me get a little more accurate shot going on here. No read. All right, I'm just gonna take those, those that couple readings I had. Uh, just just want to read. It's getting kind of dark out here, anyways. But Buffalo Boar, they're so consistent that I definitely trust that one or two reads. It's gonna be that way across the board. So these might be a little bit hotter than the FBI load originally, but it's about as close as you're gonna get currently. So let's hit our ballistics gel block with these uh, rounds through the bologna pack and see how they all compare to each other. All right, first up we have our nine millimeter silver tip. This is the one that kind of got the bad reputation for not penetrating very far. So let's see what it does. <laughs> it completely blew that baloney pack apart. And as impressive as, as it seems, blowing a baloney pack apart typically indicates a soft alloy and a lack of uh, penetration. And this is what we got here. So our damage path is only at about four and a half maximum. So that's a maximum of 11 and a half. And if we look at our bullet edge here, we're at three and three quarters. So uh, it's 10 and three quarters that pretty much um, verifies that that's what they were getting on that day uh, where they had to you know, shoot attackers. Um, we got a little bit less than desired penetration because in the past I've even tested 22 mag through that baloney pack and we were up here, you know. That's not good. <laughs> Let's try the 38 Special. All right, 38 Special FBI load in the four inch barrel. This is reportedly the round that uh, ended the fight that day. So let's find out why. All right. So our baloney damage and our damage through our fiber board is pretty good. It's pretty, uh, it's above average, uh, but it's pretty consistent the way it went through. Now what's very interesting about this is our damage path is all the way up here at six, about almost six and a half. So that would indicate about uh, 13 and a half inches comparison to just straight gel. And that's interesting. But what's more interesting is our bullet is back further. So we're only at about two and three quarters. So that's only like nine and three quarters um, if it was straight gel. So that's interesting that it did that like that. I wouldn't have expected it to be quite like that. Um, so let's try the two inch barrel and the FBI load, the current FBI load and see how those compare to each other. All right, let's run this FBI load in the snub and see how it does. Wow. So our baloney damage is pretty good. Our hole through our fiber board is actually larger with the snub. That's interesting. And what's interesting here is our damage path is at about five and a half. So, you know, about 12 and 12 and a half our damage path, but our actual edge of the bullet is at about four and a quarter. So yeah, about 11 and a quarter. So not perfect performance, uh, but let's pull out that current FBI load and see how it compares to these. All right, here's our current FBI load, our critical duty. Let's see what this does. Definitely a lot less energy dump right away, but the hole going through this is not too bad, actually. Um, better than what I would have expected. Pretty good damage. So this is where there's an obvious difference here. Um, we're looking at, this is about 12 and a, and a half of our damage path. And then our, our bullet edge here is just over 12. So 
that's like 19 inches comparison to, to straight gel. So that is pretty much right where you want it to be um, for for penetration. You know, we definitely not lacking when we hit an actual human simulation. That's pretty good. Um, let's shoot these at 25 yards and let's see how our practical accuracy is. All right, first up is our nine millimeter rounds. Our first three rounds are critical duty and the last two are silver tips. So let's see if I can hit that plate. That's really accurate, that critical duty, that's perfect. Let's see how the silver tip does. Not too bad, but I felt a lot more confident with my accuracy with that silver tip. Let's try the 38 Special rounds. All right, I got three rounds of the 38 Special in this gun. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna do single action. I try the snub. All right, snub nose, I'll do a little single action. A couple rounds here. Yeah, I'm having a hard time with the accuracy with this gun today, um, hitting really anything. It might just be the ammo, it might just be me. Um, with our four inch barrel, it did pretty good, and our ballistic performance is pretty similar between both of these and this. So what I'm seeing here, and my own honest opinion here is that the silver tip didn't do very good at all. It is relatively accurate, but our ballistic test, no. Nah. Because even out of a snub, our 38 beat it. Um, and both the 4-inch and the 2-inch 38 lead semi wad cutter absolutely beat that, um, that silver tip 9mm. But looking at this as a whole well-rounded um, assessment of this ammo, that critical duty did excellent. Even though it was low-powered, it had the deepest penetration, had the best accuracy. So it's it's kind of one of those those examples of where an ammunition company doesn't necessarily load it as maximum as you need it to be. They load it to where it needs to be because you know they have FBI agents that can't necessarily handle really really powerful rounds. So it's a low recoil round. It's a very accurate round, and it's doing what it needs to do with what it has to work with. So excellent, excellent round. So. If I had to, you know, <laughs> make an assessment today, if the FBI was right in changing from the, all the ammo today to the critical duty, I'm going to say, yeah, uh, it's a good round. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.